All right, so we're going to go ahead and do section four. Section four in test 73. Yes. Who's your favorite section? All righty. So, as always, we'll do 35 minutes. Um, before we do that, does anyone have any insights about logical reasoning that they've made recently that they would gladly share with the rest of the group? I just finally realized X. Or it solidified in my mind. And now I apply it every time I take a 35 minute section and I do awesome. The, nothing? Yes? Uh, when you're doing parallel reasoning, you look a lot at the, at the words like the most, the psalms, and all of this. Yeah. Because I, I struggle with parallel reasoning at first. Or the, just like, it, it's hard for me to relate two very separate thoughts. Yeah. And, but then when you start looking at those keywords, then it starts to make a lot more sense because they're like critical to the whole thing. Yeah. The underlying logic, yeah. Any other thoughts? Yes? Oh, when I do the sufficient questions. Sufficient um, assumption questions. Yeah, mm -hmm. you're trying to prove the conclusion. Yeah. I, I particularly look for the logical jump between the premises and the conclusion if a new word occurs. Then yeah. that new word should be in the answer. It has to be in the answer. Yes. In a sufficient assumption question, if there's a jump, well, there will be a jump. Yeah, there and will be a jump. You have to find it. Two, two answers. Yep. And the correct answer has to address it, because if it doesn't, then that answer has not proven the conclusion. There's still a problem with the argument. Any other thoughts? Shelby? Um, I mean, it's more of a general thing. And I sure. I've said it a hundred times, but like, I actually stopped caring about finishing the section. Okay. And really, like, in my mind, like, became okay with not finishing. Yeah. And then my, like, accuracy went up a lot. So, like, I'm not finishing, but I'm getting like, them right. Yeah. Cool. And uh, if you if your accuracy is extraordinarily high for the ones you do, mm -hmm. then you can probably push it out just like one right. at a time, but slowly try to do a little bit more, take a little mm -hmm. bit more risk. Um, you don't want to do that too much because then you end up back in the same problem you had before. But yeah, right. you're absolutely right. Excellent. Well, that's good to hear. Anything else? Yeah? Yeah, I, I guess, I mean, because it applies to the vast majority of questions, just like really searching for the conclusion mm -hmm. in every... Um, every paragraph that you read is, yes. is almost always going to help you. Yeah, in some way, shape, or form. It doesn't matter if it's a structure question yeah. or a, a flaw question or strength question or whatever. And when there isn't a conclusion there, it's like, oh, I don't think there's a conclusion here. And it's usually an inference question or something. Mm -hmm. You're like, oh, well, that's not surprising. You start to own the test. Any last thoughts? Okay. Um, let's do this. 35 minutes. We're good? Begin now. <laughs>